hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm gonna be creating a makeup look so today i'm thinking brown smoky eyes wing liner but with a pop of purple i've done this makeup look with blue before i've never done it with purple but i just felt like it'd be something different it'd be quite fun i have a really cute lip combination so hopefully it's all gonna tie in together very nicely got all my makeup set out here i'm feeling good we're gonna film a video I'm so excited i'm gonna be doing a voiceover for this video if that's okay just because we have construction going on still and they are being so loud literally i keep having to pause filming because they keep banging noises are being made and it's just gonna be really hard to film whilst i am talking also i've got my liner in i've not wore it in like a week because i'm an idiot and i've got it back in now so i'm actually struggling to talk <laughs> it's so hard when you put it back in for the first time anyway we're gonna jump straight on in with today's tutorial if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as well but we're gonna just jump straight on in with today's video to start off with i'm going in with my anastasia beverly hills brow freeze and just applying this through my brows and as usual for primer, I'm going in with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 02. I'm using a concealer brush and I'm just applying this all over my eyelids, dragging this out towards my temples and also onto the bridge of my nose as well. Next up, I'm going in with my eyeshadow. So I'm using this palette here from Smashbox, but you can use whatever palette you want. These shades are very universal, so you'll be able to find them in any eyeshadow palette that you've got at home. So I'm just taking a medium brown to begin with and applying this through the crease. To make sure that everything is nice and blended seamlessly, I'm going in with a clean, fluffy blending brush. To add a bit more depth to the eye look, I'm now taking this darker, deep brown shade and I'm just applying this to the outer corner of my eye and then just pulling any excess through the crease, but a little bit lower than the first shade. And I'm just going in with the same clean, fluffy blending brush, making sure that all those edges are nice and blended. Next up, I'm going to add some shimmer to the lid and I'm taking this shade here. This is from the exact same palette. It's just like a nude peachy sort of shimmer shade and I'm just applying that using my finger. For eyeliner, I'm going in with the Illamasqua Liquid Liner in the shade Black and I'm just applying this as I would usually do with my liquid liner. I did have to go back in with my usual trusty Maybelline liquid liner just because I find it easier to use that one. I'm not quite used to using like a proper felt tip liner. So I did go in with my other liner just to sharpen the wings. I'm now taking the Rockin' Coal pencil from Charlotte Tilbury and this is in the shade Supernova. It's a really gorgeous deep purple coal liner with glitter reflex. They're like golden coppery glitter reflex and I'm just applying this to my lower lash line and then taking a small brush and really softly blending that out. Next up, I'm going back into that Smashbox palette that I was using earlier on and I'm taking this deep purple shade and just applying that on top of the coal liner just to deepen the purple up a little bit more. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm applying this to my upper and lower lashes. I'm just going in with the Barry M waterproof eyeliner in the shade black through my waterline. For primer, I'm taking the Nip and Fab primer and I don't think you can buy this anymore, but it's just like a hydrating primer. 
For foundation, I'm taking the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Foundation and I'm just applying this all over my base. I actually have a first impression and review on this foundation on my channel, so I'll leave it linked down below for you guys if you would like to watch that. For concealer, I'm taking the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and I'm just applying this to my under eyes, my chin, cupid's bow, tip of my nose, forehead and then I also had some spots and breakouts on my chin area and around my lips so I just applied a little bit over them as well and then I'm just using a sponge to make sure that is all nice and blended out. To set my under eyes, I'm taking the Revolution Ultra Pro HD Powder Contour in the shade Fair and I'm taking the Banana shade and just applying that under my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 102. For bronzer, I've gone quite old school and I've got the Bourjois bronzing powder, the one that smells like chocolate. I don't care what anyone says, this is the best bronzing powder ever. I bloody love this bronzer, it's so good. And I'm just applying this to my cheekbones and my forehead as well. And to contour, I'm going back into the Revolution HD Powder Contour Palette and I'm just taking the lightest contour shade. For blush, I went in with this shade here. This is from MAC and it is Peony Petal. Such a beautiful blush colour. It is very similar to the Dior blush that everyone seems to be going crazy for at the moment. For highlight, I'm taking the Ofra Nikki Tutorials highlighter in the shade Cloud9. And I thought this would just look really nice with the pop of purple and I just applied this to all the high points of my face, under my brow and also on the inner corners of my eye as well. I am so obsessed with this lip combination so I'm starting off by lining my lips with Primark Rosewood Lip Liner. For lipstick, I'm taking the NYX Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Soft Femme. And then for lip gloss, I'm taking NYX Lip Luster in the shade Antique Romance. And this is just the most beautiful lip combination ever. I'm so obsessed with it. Off camera, I applied some lashes. They're just wispy, very natural looking lashes. And then here we have the finished makeup look. I really love the pop of purple. It goes really nicely with my eye colour as well. So if you guys have hazel eyes, make sure that you give this a go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!